seven years after Miles Gray was killed in a confrontation with Vancouver police, CBC has obtained the names of all nine officers who were on the scene. We've learned that four of them were already under investigation at the time because of another violent arrest, and one is now charged with assault connected to yet another incident. This paper that I'm going to show you is seven years old. In the summer of 2015, Margie Gray got the call. Her son Miles had just been killed in a confrontation with as many as nine Vancouver police officers. He was unarmed, kicked, punched, kneed and pepper sprayed, bound at both the arms and the legs. His injuries were so extensive, an exact cause of death has never been determined. Another mom, Carol DeBoer, had seen the news. I don't know, I just had this gut feeling about the situation and that's when I kind of reached out to Margie thinking there's something, something wrong here. Her son Mitchell had had his own run-in with the VPD. His jaw and finger had been broken and his arm bitten by a dog. Both arrests took place in South Vancouver just six weeks apart. So DeBoer followed her gut and called Margie Gray. She listed off the names of the officers involved in Mitch's arrest and Margie Gray wrote them down. I've had it with me for seven years. So these are the names of Mitch's police officers that beat him. It's taken that long for her to confirm the names of the officers involved in her son's death, thanks to a report from the Office of the Police Complaints Commissioner, which is investigating. Four officers were on both lists. If these cops were dealt with, you know, properly at that time, my son may well be alive. I was disgusted, period. They should not be on the job. One of the constables, Bo Spencer, is now facing an assault charge connected to yet another arrest in 2017. Chief Civilian Director Ron McDonald of the Independent Investigations Office says he sometimes sees the same officers popping up in multiple investigations, but they usually belong to specialized units. It wouldn't be uncommon to see members of the emergency response team uh, come up more than once. Um, it's not uncommon to see um, someone who is a dog master come up more than once. The officers involved in each of these reports, though, weren't involved in those specialized units. So in general, it would be somewhat unusual in a relatively short period of time to see a, a normal, regular frontline officer to come up in a series of cases. In the Miles Gray case, McDonald's team concluded the officers may have committed a crime, but Crown prosecutors didn't approve charges. In Mitchell DeBoer's arrest, the IAO said he'd resisted the officers, quote, at every turn, and they found no wrongdoing. The Vancouver Police Department has declined an interview for this story, but in a statement, Sergeant Steve Addison says the officers were cleared by both the IAO and the OPCC in DeBoer's arrest, and it wouldn't be appropriate to comment on Miles Gray while the OPCC is investigating and a coroner's inquest is pending. At this point, Margie Gray says she has little hope for accountability in her son's death. The problem is, this shouldn't have happened in the first place. Like, where is the training? It's just one of many questions that still lingers for this grieving mom. Bethany Lindsay, CBC News, Vancouver.